So today is project day. We're back in St. George just for a little while um, to finish up a few things. We need to work on our generator and get it sounding a lot smoother than it does right now. And we need to fix our blinds second because they are literally falling apart. So that is what we're doing today. Our first step is going to be taking the old blinds off of this plastic channel piece that runs through this metal piece that hooks on the wall up there. So first we need to dismantle this really quick and then we're going to staple our new fabric to this piece just like the old one was and hopefully that gets the job done. So I am going to get started on the straps we're going to use to hold up the curtains. Um, I'm using these leather pieces that we got from Michaels and I'm gonna cut um, a half inch wide strips and then these are the buttons that we're going to put on them uh, to hold them up. I have all the straps cut pretty much evenly and now I have to figure out how to put on these snaps. It's been a long time since I've done like any kind of leather working, probably since like 4-H <laughs> in like middle school. So I've got to figure this out and yeah, that should look pretty nice. I did like measure it up to these um, and I think it will be big enough uh, when we get our fabric. So I brought in reinforcements because I couldn't hammer it hard enough, but I hammered it too hard. Garrett hammered it too hard. <laughs> it's all like Now it's cattywampus. <laughs> Well, this I think hard. it'll still work. This is harder than it looks. This is super, it's way harder than it looks. Like, there's no doubt about it. But we think this is going to work well. Not really sure. So we got our fabric um, from Joanne Fabrics at a really good price, actually. Um, we ended up getting three and a half yards. It's probably going to be more than we need for these uh, four windows. But we wanted it to be safe and make sure we had enough um, for everything. So, and we actually got it at $6.99 a yard, which I think is a pretty good price. It is um, kind of a like canvassy material, um, so it's pretty thick, and I don't think we'll need to double up on it. You can't see through it like at all um, with the light coming through. So I think it'll be good, and I really like the color. Um, it's not like super neutral, but neutral enough where I think we can put a lot of different colors with it. Um, and it matches our rug over there really well and also like our backsplash and uh, some of these pillows and stuff So I think it's gonna be a good color um, To have around for a while and so right now we're just like measuring out the first window uh, So we can cut it and then um, hem it. I don't have a sewing machine. I've never been good at sewing ever um, So I'm not even gonna attempt that so we got this liquid stitch um, permanent adhesive for stitchless sewing uh, right here. So we're going to use this to hem it. It would be ideal if we had an iron to like press the creases and also to get rid of some of these wrinkles. We do not have an iron. Um, I didn't want to buy one because I thought that would be silly. Um, so they're going to be a little bit wrinkly for a while. But the more that they hang, um, and they'll be rolled up a lot of the time, uh, those creases will just fade away, I'm pretty sure. That's kind of what happened with our canvas um, uh, cover on our couch. So it'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. So we cut out our first piece, um, and now we have to hem it. The right way would be to like put pins here and iron it to make it a straight edge but we don't have those so we're just kind of improvising this is we're going to do a half inch hem on all of the sides um, and so we're going to use this liquid stitch and i'm just going to put a dab in each corner for now to hold it and then we'll make this line as straight as we can using this yardstick i have no idea what we're going to do with the yardstick which is over, but wow. Alright, so we're gonna do this all the way around and then uh, we'll come back to you. So the hem looks really good. Um, 
I think like doing it, doing just like a simple hem with a sewing machine would be the best way, but this actually doesn't look half bad and it's like stuck and dry already, so I'm happy with it. So now we have to figure out how we're gonna staple it to the track. Okay, so we figured it out. We are gonna staple it underneath like this and then that way it'll hang like so and you won't be able to see the staples. And then when we roll it, roll it from the bottom, you will see the hem on the side when it's rolled, but man, I think it'll look nice. I think so. And then um, it'll be stapled to this channel. And so if we need to, we can take it in and out. Actually, take that back. I don't think we will be able to take it in and out because we're gonna have snaps screwed into this, which will probably prevent this from sliding anymore. So this will Pro all be like one unit. Yeah, probably. Work, did it? You're not gonna... We're gonna try this again. I think this metal thing was getting in the way. So we're gonna try okay. just stapling it straight through and hopefully we don't hook the towel too much. Make sure it's in the middle so it will slide. Hmm. I think the plastic is too hard for the staple gun. Shoot. We're gonna have to make another trip to Lowe's. <laughs> this will be our third trip to Lowe's today. So the success of this project so far is not great. <laughs> because we've been to Lowe's twice already today. Okay, Garrett is back with a better staple gun, hopefully. We've eaten some dinner, so we're doing a lot better here. And we're gonna get this darn curtain up. Yeah! Hey, look at that! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of cracked the plastic. It's almost too heavy duty. That's sharp. Is that how the other ones were? Maybe don't push so hard this time. Oh, that one didn't crack. So. All right. Nice. All right. All right, it's working. It is working. All right, so now this little channel slides right in. Cool, so now we just have to work on the leather straps. But I like it. I mean, I think we'll want to put like magnets at the bottom of this, yeah, don't you? Because it, you, otherwise you can see there's a big yeah. gap. Yeah. Okay, the current issue is like this gap this on, on this end and really the other end too. Um, when it's flipped this direction, with the staples not showing, you kind of get this like L shape and it gaps. Because if it's turned around like this, we'd have to re-staple this because right now the hem is facing out. But um, if we just do it like this. I yeah, think, that I mean, eliminates maybe. the gap. Maybe it's not a big deal, like just leaving the staple. Sh well, we'll have to fix it anyway because of the hem, so we're going to have to flip this. You can't even, I mean, you can't see the staples unless you're like right down here because they're up in the channel. Yeah, let's just do, let's just leave it. I think it's fine with the staple showing. Yeah, um, you might see it when you're like sitting on the couch maybe, but. All right, let's do it. That is good. So I guess we just need to get back to work. I think we've got it figured out. Yeah. If you do it too much, you kind of squish everything and it looks weird. <laughs> So, but you don't want too much play in there either. Give it a couple more wings. <laughs> All right, so we have our two. We have two buckles, and um, so we have. This is the other side. Normally, um, you would do what we just did with this piece. This is the back of it. And you'd put like a piece of fabric in between it or yeah, something. Yeah, and then but you'd hammer that in. Not doing but that. Instead, we found or we got these little screws. They're a number four half inch, and it fits perfectly through this hole. And uh, we checked it still snaps even with this in there. So we're going to use this to screw the back, like the receiving end of the snap, um, into the whatever the channel. Um. Just going to roll it up and then snap it right here. We gotta put our drill our hole and put the snap in. It's gonna look so good. This is taking a long time because there's like no 
like cookie cutter way to do this. Um, there's like nothing you can look up online, really. Um, I originally got this idea from uh, Wee Little Nomads. If you don't follow them on Instagram, you should. They have a beautiful Airstream, and so I saw that she did her curtains um, a, simil a similar way to this. Um, the complicated part is that we're using the mounting from the old curtains. Um, it looks the best, and just like the way that our windows are, it's like, you know, the best way to do it. So that's why we're just like having to make it up as we go and just kind of wing it. That worked so good. Moment, Moment of, of truth. Yeah, here we go. All of our day's work. Wow, wow, that looks so good. I love it. Yes. That looks so good. I love it. It's everything I hoped and dreamed it would be, Garrett. It's beautiful. Wow. That's, That's actually so really sweet. Wow. Oh, that looks really good. I'm so excited to do all of the windows. Yes. Oh, I love it. Ah. It's so good. Okay. All right, we are going to wrap up this uh, second curtain here and then call it a night. It is pretty late. We're tired, so... We will see you guys in the morning. I just finished uh, the last of the hemming for the last curtain up front, and now all we have to do is install it. And this is looking really good. Our curtains are completely finished up front and in the bedroom. They look super nice. They actually make it quite a bit darker in here when they're down than the other ones did, which is pretty cool. I'm super happy with how our curtains turned out. This was a great project. It did take a, quite a bit of time, but it was super inexpensive. If you want more details about how we completed this project, where we got our materials, how much everything costs, um, go ahead and check out our website. The link will be down below in the description. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. Also, give this video a thumbs up, and thanks for living life with us today. We'll see you in the next video.